Hello everyone. Welcome to Gold Nugget, J-A-W underscore success. If this is your first time to the channel, let me welcome you. If you have already subscribed, let me thank you for joining me on this growth path. And if I sound like I'm out of breath, ah, I guess I am breathing heavily because I just climbed over a ravine just to get to this leveling on the top of the ravine. And as I climb up the ravine, a thought came to mind. And these trees, as you're looking at them, spoke volume to me. Each of them is of the same nature. Each of them has the same qualities or probably were planted at the same time. And in the end, some will become like this, or perhaps all of them. But all of them were not reaped at the same time. Some were cut down much earlier than others. And I'm not using this nugget to just bring attention to deforestation or any of that kind of stuff. In an environment like this, somebody perhaps planted these trees because it's their business. It serves two purposes. It gives them money, but for the time the trees exist, it adds to the flora and fauna of the environment. It gives scenery and beauty where individuals like myself can come in the midst of it and feel comfortable. But someday it's going to become money. It's going to become, you know, somebody's wealth. Or as it is now, it is somebody's wealth in growing. So I want to say to you in this nugget, all of us as individuals, we serve a purpose. And unless we find what our purpose is, we might just be growing into nothing or we might grow into something profitable to somebody in the future. Find what makes you profitable and grow into it. A uh, second part to this nugget that I want to point out from the trees is that each of them has similar characteristics but they grow limbs and leaves differently. This is how we're going to be like trees among people, among men. We're going to have to grow among individuals, but we have got to have our own distinction. We have got to have our own uniqueness. We have got to bend in our own specific ways. And as we bend, in order to create things, others might take stuff away from us so that we can we can properly grow into the profitability that we are supposed to be. So I want to say to you in this nugget, grow in the midst of everybody else. Don't let everybody else grow around you and you remain fixed. You remain um, maga and wishy-washy and of no use or of no good to, to anybody. You don't want to be bramble in life. You want to make sure that you grow in the vicinity of others. You want to become not like them, but you want to make sure that the fruit you produce or the thing you produce is not just something to be cut down like twigs and leave on the ground. Every part of your life must lead to profitability. Everything you do must have some meaning to it. And so in the midst of life, grow to the extent that you become, you know, the, the kind of stuff that people will use. Not what is left behind for firewood, but that which is taken away and become beautiful furniture, as it were, into somebody's house and become a contributor to other people's lives. This is J.A.W. saying to you. Um, the third thing I want to say to you in this nugget is you can't please everybody, but make sure you please somebody. So the essence of this nugget is there are individuals who say, 
I won't please nobody. I will just do my own thing. No, there is no time in your life that you will ever be living to please only yourself. If you please only yourself, others will will discard you. Others will not have any use for you. Others will push you aside. Others will run away from you. But as you grow in your own self, as you grow in life, know that you can't please everybody, but by all means, please some. Um, if I may say who you are to please, I will jump to say, yes, please yourself, first of all. Second, please God and then you can't please God and just please yourself you have to please others as well there are persons who have been blessings to me and I will never allow them to become chapwood and firewood so when you please others and when others please you they will not leave you behind to become twigs on the ground they will take you and you will become a blessing in their lives. So this is J.A.W. saying to you, by all means necessary, grow in yourself, grow in the midst of others and become the person you are to become. Because in life, if we do not grow, we die. But just remember, even in our growth, there must be a purpose in our growth. We become fine cedars or we become fine birch wood or we become fine whatever wood these are you know we become them and we become profitable to other people and not just ourselves this is jaw saying to you by all means necessary create a way out i am gone to face my new challenge and my new ditches and stuff so god bless you bye